Ahead of the State of the Union uh, address tonight, a Wall Street Journal NBC News poll out today finds that the nation's increasingly worried about the president's abilities, dissatisfied with the economy and fearful for the country's future, and also not so happy with the Republican opposition as well. Uh, joining us to discuss all that sentiment is, uh, uh, tonight is Wall Street Journal's Neil King, uh, global economics editor who's with us from Washington, and Republican National Committee co-chair Sharon Day, who joins us from Florida. Uh, thank you both for being with us. Uh, Neil, let me start with you. Um, you saw in the poll today the picture of the country that I just described. Uh, it's a somewhat uneasy country, but if you're President Obama, what numbers did you see today that ought to worry him the most? Well, I mean, there, I guess he would be most worried about the fact that there's a lot of skepticism about him and his abilities. I mean, there's a sense in the country people actually feel fairly good about their own personal prospects, uh, fairly good about sort of the confidence they have as consumers, but very disturbed about the country. You know, we ask people to list uh, their words that would describe how they think the State of the Union is now. I assume the president will go out and say he thinks the State of the Union is strong. About 3% of the people that we polled would agree with that term. They use terms more like divided, deteriorating, troubled. So it's a very different uh, President Obama that will be taking the stage tonight and giving his address than was the case last year, uh, and, and a president that's been really in a trough for about six months when it comes to his approval rating. And all those things are going to present difficulties for him, not really tonight, but for the remainder of this year, probably for the remainder of his term. Sharon Day, let me, let me turn to you. One of the other things we found in that poll was that while there's a lot of unease about President Obama, 51% uh, of the people we surveyed also said they're worried the Republicans in Congress will be uh, too inflexible in dealing with the president. How do Republicans uh, be the opposition party without looking like the opposition party tonight and through the rest of this year? Well, I don't think we've been the opposition party. I disagree with that uh, thought process in that if you look at it, we have 100 bills that the House has sent to the Senate to try to get passed that would help the jobs and help economy for my fellow American citizens. And, and the uh, Senate has not bothered to look at one of them or allow one to be voted on. So we have not been the obstructionist that we have been par portrayed to be. We have actually tried to find real solutions and offered real solutions. And, and let me just follow up on that front, Sharon. It, where do you think the opportunities for uh, cooperation lie in, in 2014, bipartisan cooperation? Well, I hope it lies with this president to put down his phone and put down his pen. I hope that he understands that, again, he needs to work across party lines and that the real, uh, I think the real thing that Americans are looking for him to be is a leader. When 63 percent of the American public believes that America is going in the wrong direction, that's a lack of leadership on his part. And I think when you look at the State of the Union speech that he's going to give tonight, I would tell my fellow American citizens also, they might be better watching another rerun of another show because what we're going to hear is basically the same speech that we have heard for the last five years that have not offered solutions to get us in the direction that America needs to go. You know, uh, Neil, if we could step back and put this in some context, uh, we looked at the uh, job approval of this president and put it in the context of other presidents at this point in a, in a two-term presidency at, at the beginning of their uh, second year of their second term. Uh, it's not necessarily an encouraging picture for the president, is it? No, if you put aside presidents like President Nixon, who didn't you know, last out uh, the fullness of his sixth year, uh, and look at just those going back to FDR, since really the birth of modern polling. Uh, it is the reality that this president, Barack Obama, enters his sixth year in the basically the second worst position. George W. Bush had a sort of similar position in 2006. Um, and, it, you know, his approval rating has been underwater for some time. And it's also the fact, as Sharon mentioned, that uh, almost two-thirds of the country thinks that the country is on the wrong track. And, Different from that, but similar, is just the fact that, you know, we went out and engaged, how do you feel uh, about this president? Do you have pessimism towards the rest of his term? Uh, are you wondering? Are you doubtful? And that contingent of sort of doubtful, pessimistic Americans is also about 60 percent now. And it's difficult, as our pollsters were telling us, for any second-term president to rebuild that kind of trust and faith among the people uh, barring some sort of event that would jar the status quo, and I, I don't think a State of the Union address certainly is likely to be that. 
Uh, Sharon, let, let me turn to you and ask, um, when, when you think about the, the Republican response tonight, which is going to be given uh, by a leading woman in Congress, um, Kathy McMorris Rogers, what, what do you expect to hear from her? What should we uh, look for in that Republican response tonight? Oh, I think in that response, you're going to continue to see the offerings of solutions and opportunities for America and for her citizens. And again, a response to some of the empty promises that this president continues to um, bring upon uh, my fellow citizens, uh, whether it be the empty promises of Obamacare, whether it be the imp empty promises of the economy, or his empty promises on the debt. I, that's the things that I believe that Catherine McMorris Rogers and our party brings to the table real solutions, real opportunities for Americans, and that's what America is looking for.